Hi everyone. Today Rosie and I are going to show you this, which is my new fountain pen and ink storage. Uh, it's a toolbox by a company called Clark. My mum um, got it from my dad for Christmas, but she doesn't know what to put in it. She had um, put some of her sewing bits in, but then she's moved them somewhere else and she doesn't know what to put in it. So it's quite big. It's um, two feet high, maybe um, a foot deep. So it's got handles on the sides. It's got closures. It's got these little handles. It's got quite a lot of drawers and it's got this deep top section. It's got this sticker residue that won't come off, but I'll try to um, get it off maybe with Goo Gone or Baby Wipes or something. And it's a varnished wood. I think it's a solid wood. It's quite, it is heavy when it's empty, so I think it's solid. And inside it's lined with felt. So here's the top section, which is, has got a lot of my inks in, although not all of them, because um, this will only accommodate uh not very tall bottles of ink so my noodlers don't fit in it standing up they have to lie down so i'll just show you what ink i've got in it um i showed you my inks when they were in this ikea moppe drawer unit so i'm not going to go over them in depth i'll just basically tell you what's in here so this section has got all of the inks that can fit in it because as i said it's not the deepest of ink storage. Uh, these Shimmertastics by Diamine, Diamine just don't fit. They stop it from closing up completely. As you can see, there's a few millimeters gap, but I don't mind that. So I've got a uh, Diamine, Diamine, I keep changing how I say it, um, Ink Vent Blue um, Edition bottle of happy holidays which is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm using it at the moment it's a beautiful ink then i've got a couple of boxes um skull and roses and robert which i haven't used yet and with robert go little mo little pip and little chris and then i've got my shimmer tastics which are emerald green is that what it's called Magical Forest, even. Enchanted Ocean and Purple Pizzazz. Then I've got some random bottles. I tend to only buy Diamine. I love the colour range. I love the um, how bright the colours are and how easily accessible they are to me here in the UK, fortunately. Um, and they're relatively cheap. In fact, these bottles are very, very cheap for the amount of ink you get in them, 80 mils. And these bottles are great for trying inks out when you might not have access to samples. So there's Gerben Pearl Noir, which I don't use. And then these two Waterman colours, purple and um, brown, which I don't really use. I mainly use these. Um, Park Black, Lamy blue or blue black i can't remember which but that has a nice red sheen to it my big bottles of diamine before um i knew that they were selling these i bought the big bottles um these are my deep dark colors from cult pens and then this is the first one i bought cerise from diamine diamine but i spilt it i didn't like the color it was too highlighter pink i spilt it all over my bed so i had some space to be able to put some more color in to mix the color up so i put some of the purple in and it's made it a nice um, pink but i don't really use it because i feel like it's um the, the two brands of ink may have not mixed very well. I, I'm not quite sure about the consistency. And here are some dip pen inks. Um, and the only reason I've got these Windsor and Newton ones is because they are... You can't get these in normal fountain pen inks. It's silver and gold. And you can't get them... Well, you can get them as shimmer-tastics, but you can't really get them as writing inks very um, much. So when I want to do some 
ink work that's not in a fountain pen I can use these and just a couple of blacks that came with some dip pens that I bought so that's that top section and here is where the fountain pen um, fans can have some fun here are my Lamy All Stars and here are my Lamy Safaris and they have sort of moved about in the drawer as I've been closing the drawer so they're not all lined up anymore I did try to line them up I may have to make some dividers so I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Lamy All Stars and I only buy them in the colours that I like I tend to buy the limited editions every year but I will not buy it if I don't like the colour um, I have got the I think that's the aquamarine or no, no that's the pacific blue let me all start but i didn't buy the recent one that was the similar color because it's too similar and here are my safaris i'm just going to shut my door because my brother's downstairs and he talks very loud um so these safaris are uh, a very commonly used pen for me um, this one's upside down because I need to clean it and I just wanted to be able to do this video with them all in here so that you could see um, there's my Vista so that because I'm very hot on categorizing stuff I could have put that in the demonstrators drawer but I decided to put it in with its friends the Lamy Safaris because it's the same shape as a Lamy Safari but it's the clear one it's called a Lamy Vista but it's a cousin to all of these. This is my most sought after pen. I spent the most money on it and it's one that I missed when I started collecting and this, this one here was like my first pen but it's not my first pen because um, I lost my um, one of this colour and I can't remember what it's called is it aqua, aquamarine or so it's the one that came out in 2011 um, maybe 2010 I think I got it in 2011 but then I lost it and so fortunately someone from the planner community very kindly sold me theirs which was amazing because I, I wouldn't have been able to afford one that they were selling them for on eBay 90 pounds or something um that's just rosie climbing up on the wardrobe using her claws naughty girl it's a hundred year old wardrobe and she proceeds to climb it with her claws because she's a naughty monkey here are my petra Mo petra pilot metropolitans or pilot mrs i got these mainly from kickstarter so all of the um uh, animal skin print ones and the did they call them the pop range i got them from kickstarter and then i got the red one i think from ebay or somewhere but that was one from asia that you can't get in the uk so i had to buy it from the internet it's really hard to know where my hand's going when I'm looking at it through a phone screen. Here are my demonstrators, but I haven't really organised them very well. Because my Twisbees are going to go on the right here. Um, and I did bring my Twisbees up to show you, but they are over on my desk and I can't be bothered to get up and show you my messy room. So um, here are my demonstrators. And then on the right hand side, because all of my Twisbees are also demonstrators, they're going to go here. And... I'll probably make some dividers in here because they're all touching and I want them to be spaced out a little bit. Here are some um category you know some brand categorized miscellaneous others. So I've got some gin house, Otto's, Noodlers, Cavecos, and then at the back there are uh, I think it's a Chinese um, design that is very similar to the Cavecos but not exactly the same and they are good pens actually very cheap obviously because they are one of these Chinese ones that are kind of like a knockoff of the main brands but I I don't know if there's um copyright issues there but they are good pens and I've got Parker um, Platignum Rosetta Magellan 
that's an exciting pen. I'll tell you about that in a second. What's this one? A uh, Prera? Is it Pilot Prera? Can't remember. Uh, uh, Monteverde, an online brand. It's called Online, and um, Waterman. And this one is a pen I got from a Christmas fair, and it was uh, turned by a local wood turner. And he hadn't been able to sell it for years and I bought it because it's a unique pen. No one else has got this pen. Everybody could buy these pens from somewhere. All of these pens I've got, none of them are um, one-offs. But this one is a one-off, so that's really cool. And then I've got my sort of fountain pen um, miscellaneous stuff. I've got... Dip pens and dip pen nibs at the top. Some fountain pen nibs in these two cases. My shims, an empty sample vial and some O-rings. Some cartridges and, well, like the noodler's version of cartridges and some converters in there. Monteverde pen flush. Um, ink syringes. I've got another one somewhere, but I had to hide it from my cat because she keeps stealing it. That will be Rosie, the the thief um some pipettes for filling up ink my pure pen samples which are mainly diamine um shimmer tastics but i've got a couple of noodlers in there too and then i've got some cartridges at the back um, my bulb flush thingy my bulb ear bulb syringe thingy for flushing out my pen with water an amadex stain remover um some bits of syringes that I don't use much because I had to throw the needle bit off um, one of my syringes out because it got blocked with really nasty ink. So I've just got the, um, the syringe part, not the needle part. And Goulet Pen Flush, which I got free in the not order. And then last drawer, because I haven't filled the bottom drawer. I have got my noodlers inks because they're too tall to fit anywhere else. A candle because if you write an envelope um, address with fountain pen non-waterproof ink and it gets wet, obviously the address will um, be um, dissolved. So if you rub over it with some wax, it should hopefully protect it. I've got some blotting paper at the back there. A glass dip pen for pen testing. This is a um, just test of the Diamond Shimmertastic samples made with the dip pen, the glass dip pen. An empty Parker Quink bottle and some information about this glass dip pen. And that's it. So, yeah, that one's empty. I just wanted to show you that. I love it. Um... It's really cool to look at. I didn't think I would like having my pens away because normally I have them on the shelf by my desk and look at them, but they were getting dusty, um, quite messy because they were not sitting there neatly. They were all kind of not... Um, they didn't look aesthetically pleasing in the container that they were in. Um, and although they're away here, at least I know they're protected. They're not going to be bleached by the sun because the blinds in this attic room um, broke and we haven't put blackout blinds in here. So the sun can bleach the stuff that's in this room. And um, and they're also away from my, my thieving cat, Rosie, who does like to steal stuff I leave out. So there we go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video and maybe it gives you some ideas for your own fountain pen and ink storage. Thanks for watching. Bye.